hello everyone welcome back so in this video i am explaining about carbenes and their synthetic applications so this video is the continuation of previous video where we have explained what are carbenes and what kind of examples generally considered as carbenes and the history behind the development and utilization of this carbenes and uh, generation of carbenes so what kind of methods we can use for the generation of carbenes and what types of carbenes we have so there are two different type of carbenes we have discussed and uh, what are the stability of the carbenes so the generated stability of the carbenes we have discussed in the previous video in this video i am going to explain about the nature of carbenes and their reactivity in synthetic organic chemistry so let us start with the nature of carbenes so as you know carbenes carbenes are divalent and which are having six electrons that means still it has a vacant orbital so it can considered as electron deficient species electron deficient species that means we can call it as electrophile right electrophile so electrophile which can accepts electron pair from other molecules right so these electron deficiency of this carbon that is carbene generally existed because of the presence of six electrons and the presence of the vacant p orbital in this molecule so in general we can consider uh, these carbenes are electron deficient species so what made what kind of substituents made this carbenes more electrophilic so the presence of minus i groups so the presence of minus i groups as substituents generally increases the electron deficiency of this carbon in carbene and increases the electrophilic character of the carbenes so generally this minus i group presence in this carbenes generally makes this more electrophilic makes this carbon more electrophilic and makes this yeah, Uh, carbene more electron deficiency so that is the reason this difluorocarbene in this difluorocarbene the fluor fluorine is a high electronegative atom so that is the reason presence of these two fluorines in this carbene makes this carbene more electrophilic than dichlorocarbene dichlorocarbene so this is the presence of minus i groups makes this carbenes more electrophilic whereas in another case the presence of strong pi donors strong pi donor substituents for example if we have amino groups like nitrogens or donors like oxygens what happens when you have these kind of substituents in your carbene what happens to that carbene for example let us take a carbene this is called nhc in heterocyclic carbene if you observe carefully this carbon contains divalent and six electrons still it has a vacant orbital vacant orbital due to presence of the adjacent donor atom the donating of this nitrogen okay donation of this nitrogen electrons towards this empty or vacant p orbital of this carbene makes this carbon in this carbene nucleophilic nucleophilic so the carbon in this carbene becomes nucleophile when it has 
when it has a donor atoms such as amines or oxygen behind or adjacent to this carbon so in this di amino carbon di amino carbon so the donation of electrons for this nitrogen makes this carbon nucleophilic character so this carbon in general acts as nucleophilic in its reactions so the substituents present on the carbon atom in carbenes makes the carbon in different nature if you have minus i groups minus i group substituents on this carbon which makes more electrophilic this carbon more electrophilic whereas if you have strong pi donor substituents which makes this carbon in this carbon more nucleophilic you can take another example like carbene which is having a donor atom oxygen adds into it so what happens the delocalization of this electrons that means donation of this electrons to vacant orbitals of the carbon makes this carbon more nucleophilic so that is the reason that is this is the nature of the carbenes generally differ that is depends on the substituent present on this carbon if x and y are both are minus i groups then it becomes electrophile if this x and y are donor atoms then this carbon becomes nucleophile so that is the nature of carbon generally you can observe in the organic reactions so by knowing its nature of carbenes whether electrophiles or nucleophiles depends on the substituents in this carbenes these carbenes have different kind of reactions in synthetic organic chemistry so what kind of reactions generally they can undergo this carbenes undergo since these carbenes are electrophiles so they can involve in addition reactions so that means this addition reactions with the alkenes addition reactions with the alenes addition reactions with the alkynes and the arenes so this carbenes so generally undergo addition reactions and they can also involve in insertion reactions that means insertion into ch bond or insertion into hetero atom h bonds and they can also involve in rearrangements rearrangement reactions so carbenes because of their nature that means electrophilic nature or nucleophilic nature they are involving in different reactions briefly they involve in addition reactions insertion reactions rearrangement reactions addition reactions with the alkenes alenes alkynes arenes insertion reactions it, they can insertion takes place into ch bonds or insertion takes place into oh bonds etc and they can also involve in rearrangement reactions because of their electro electron deficient nature let us discuss the synthetic applications of this carbenes or reactions of this carbenes one by one let us start with the addition reactions addition reactions with the alkenes as we know alkenes generally undergo electrophilic addition reactions electrophilic addition reactions since the first step in this reactions are they add to the electrophile since alkene has pi electrons so pi electrons acts as nucleophile they add to electrophile so that is the reason we can call these reactions are electrophilic addition reactions so let us start the reactions with the alkenes so generally reactions of this carbenes with the alkenes so generally they produce cyclopropane cyclopropane derivatives so this is very important so alkenes when you treat with the carbenes so generally they produce cyclopropanes so as we know the carbenes are two different types one is singlet carbenes and 
triplet carbene. Let us start the reaction with the singlet carbene. So, if you have an alkene, if you treat this alkene with the singlet carbene, which is singlet carbene. So, generally, this singlet carbene reactions with alkenes generally they are stereo specific stereo specific so that means if you take a cis isomer cis isomer so this is a cis alkene so generally you end up with a cis cyclopropane cis cyclopropane so the cis isomer generally produce cis cis product that means cis cyclopropane product as trans alkene gives you trans cyclopropane derivative so what kind of mechanism involved in this so generally the reaction of this alkenes with the singlet carbenes are follow concerted mechanism concerted mechanism that means so simultaneous simultaneous attack of or simultaneous bond formation takes place which gives you a transition state and produces a stereo specific isomer so this is a stereo specific reaction since this reaction that means alkene with a singlet carbene follow the concerted mechanism so it gives you the same isomer in the product so the same reaction if you carried out with the triplet carbene treat the alkene for example, it is a cis alkene. Treat this cis alkene with the triplet carbene. So generally, this reaction produces both cis plus. that means you will able to get a mixture of cis and trans products that means this reaction is stereoselective reaction where this reaction produces the both isomers both cis and trans isomers what is the reason behind to produce a mixture of cis and trans isomers from the cis alkenes so let us consider the mechanism so in this mechanism generally the triplet carbene which has di radicals di radicals in it so the involvement of this di radicals makes the reaction produces mixture of products let us discuss the mechanism here so first the interaction of this alkene with the triplet carbene that means involvement of di radicals and these both electrons are in present in parallel position first the bond that means first electrophilic addition which gives you an intermediate, a di-radical intermediate and now 
there is a rotation around the CC single one takes place and which gives you spin inversion okay there is a spin inversion takes place by the rotation of CC bond rotation of CC bond Now, these two intermediates A and B A undergo spin inversion In this case, there is only rotation of this CC bond takes place without spin inversion once the CC bond rotation takes place, later each intermediate undergo spin inversion. Spin inversion, for example, A is undergoing spin inversion like this. So the CH2 electron gets inversion earlier here in this A it has up direction now it is in down now ring closer takes place ring closer so this ring will close and gives you this Cyclopropane. Come to the B intermediate, which also undergo spin inversion. Spin inversion, which gives you Both electrons are in anti parallel direction. And then ring closing takes place, which produces a cyclopropane derivative, which is trans. So that is the reason behind in, in the production of or in the production of the mixture of cis and trans isomers as products. What is the reason? The involvement of these di radicals of the scripted state during the reaction, which produces both uh, mixture of cis and trans. What happens? So the first reaction of this alkene with the triplet carpene which gives you intermediate A which undergo rotation around the CC single bond gives you intermediate B. This is the intermediate B. So these both intermediates undergo spin inversion followed by ring closing. It produces both products cis and trans isomers as products. So what is the conclusion here? Alkenes when you treat with the singlet carpene, they produce a stereospecific product. That means if you take cis alkene, you will get cis cyclopropane. Whereas the alkene, when you treat with the triplet, which produces stereoselective reaction, that means you will get a mixture of cis and trans products. If you take cis alkenes, treat with the triplet, produces cis and trans products in mixture form. So when will you observe this kind of reactions? For that means so thermal decomposition. So thermal decomposition 
of diazomethane diazomethane always produces singlet carbene singlet carbene and of course photochemical decomposition of the diazomethane in the absence of inert gas absence of inert gas absence of inert gas also produce singlet carbene so these are the conditions generally to produce or to generate a specific carbons carbenes so what are the what are the conditions the first condition is the decomposition thermal decomposition of diazomethane or photochemical decomposition of diazomethane in the absence of inert gas or that means nitrogen gas or argon gas generally they produce singlet carbenes so when you treat this alkenes with the singlet carbenes you will get as it is the same isomer in the product that means if you take cis alkene you will get cis cyclopropane in another case the photochemical decomposition so photo decomposition of diazomethane diazomethane in presence of in presence of inert gas that is so that to large amount of inert gas inert gas like nitrogen nitrogen or dibromomethane so generally produce triplet triplet carbene so this is the important condition to get the triplet carbene so to get singlet carbene you can always do the thermal decomposition of diazomethane or the photochemical decomposition of diazomethane that in the absence of inert gas you can get the singlet carbenes whereas photochemical decomposition of this diazomethane in presence of excess amount or large amount of inert gas like nitrogen gas or inert solvent like dibromomethane okay uh, these kind of uh, solvents generally first produce a singlet carbene first they produce singlet carbene then the, they collide later they collide with the nitrogen molecule and loses energy to give the lower energy triplet carbene okay ultimately you will get a triplet carbene but first you will get trip singlet carbene then they collide with the nitrogen gas and get the lower energy triplet carbene so of course the carbene as we discussed earlier carbene you can also that is formed or carbene this carbene from alpha elimination the alpha elimination of gem dihalides or trihalides always produces singlet carbene singlet carbene so this is also one important point that is alpha elimination so alpha elimination or thermal decomposition of diazomethane or photochemical decomposition of this uh, diazomethane in absence of inert gas generally produce singlet carbenes whereas photochemical decomposition of diazomethane in presence of large amount of inert gas like nitrogen or solvents like dibromomethane generally produce singlet carbenes singlet carbenes followed by the collision with the nitrogen molecules produce triplet triplet carbene next the addition reactions with the allenes addition reactions with the allenes so allenes generally when they react with the carbenes react with the carbenes so they produce alkylidine alkylidine cyclopropane they produce cyclopropane derivatives but they have alkylidine group for example if you take unsubstituted allene and treat with a diazo ester okay, diazo ester alpha diazo ester in the thermal or photochemical condition let us take photochemical condition which produces carbene carbene which reacts with this allenes one of the double bond and produce alkylidine 
cyclopropane. Cyclopropane. This is unsubstituted allyl. For example, if you take a substituted allyl, what happens? That means which is 3-methyl 3-methyl 1,2-butadiene Here, there are two different types of reactions you can perform that is, when you treat this um, that is substituted allyl with the singlet carbene Singlet carbon generally obtained by chloroform with the alcoholic KOH under thermal condition which gives you singlet carbene. So this singlet carbene generally add to the more substituted double bond. More substituted double bond. So that means here. That means when you treat with the singlet carbene, singlet carbene, so this singlet carbene add to the more substituted, more substituted alkene, whereas the same di substituted allene when you treat with the diazomethane under photochemical condition in solvents like dibromomethane which produces a triplet carbene triplet carbene which adds to the less substituted alkene and gives you a cyclopropane derivative so this is how about reactions with the allenes so of course you can also discuss the one two addition reactions of this carbenes with the this butadienes so if you treat with the one three butadiene when you treat this 1,3-butadiene with the carbene, so generally it gives you always 1,2-adduct. Okay, always 1,2-adduct is the major product compared to 1,4-product. So, 1,4-adduct. So, when you treat with 1,3-butadiene, okay, 1,3-butadiene, when you treat this carbene with 1,3-butadiene, always you will get cyclopropanation at 1,2 position. That means you will get 1,2 adduct majorly at this condition. So that is all about allenes. Allenes reaction with the carbenes. Next move on to the alkynes. Alkynes. So alkynes. So alkanes are just less reactive than alkenes towards carbenes. For example, if you have an alkyne, it is a internal alkyne, and treat this one with the carbene, here dibromocarbene, which is singlet, which gives you
3-3-dibromo 2-2-diphenyl cyclopropane okay this cyclopropane when you do hydrolysis ketone as the product so alkynes are less reactive less reactive than alkenes towards carbenes but though they can react with the carbenes and produce as cyclic derivatives and you can do the hydrolysis of the corresponding carbonyl compounds next let us discuss the reactivity of these carbenes towards arenes. arenes so aromatic compounds generally reacts with the carbenes carbenes so generally they gives you one two product which further undergo rearrangement reactions so aromatic compound for example if you take a benzene and treat this benzene with the diazoester diazoester under thermal condition which produces carbene and it forms a cyclopropane cyclopropane so the same thermal condition this product undergo rearrangement that means ring expansion takes place and gives you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 a 7 number ring So, arenes or aromatic compounds generally they react with the carbenes and gives you 1 2 odex and then they go rearrangements. For example, if you take another heteroatomic hetero aromatic compound, for example, treat pyrrole with the dichlorocarbene, which undergo. 1 2 addition and this formed adduct under the rearrangement it gives you ring expanded product this is very important reaction it gives you 3 chloro Pyridin, so very important. So, row when you treat with the carbene, dichlorocarbene, which gives you one to adduct and which undergoes rearrangement and gives you the ring expanded product that is 3 chloro pyridine. So, this is all about the addition reactions of carbenes with the alkenes, allenes, alkynes, and arenes. Next, move on to the major application that is insertion of this carbene into ch bonds ch bonds so here the alpha carbon of carbene if suppose this alpha carbon of carbene has no hydrogen atom no hydrogen atom then this carbene inserts this carbene inserts into CH into CH bond insert into CH bond so generally this can insert or this CH bond generally belongs to either beta or gamma or delta that is generally this undergo the 
intramolecular insertion intramolecular insertion suppose if compound has hydrogens on all of these carbons beta carbon gamma carbon and delta carbon has hydrogens in all these places so it generally undergoes delta hydrogen that means insertion takes place into delta hydrogen if you take example you can easily understand this for example let me take a simple ether this ether has a halo with way to when you treat this with the base that is in between lithium under strong basic conditions it undergo this halo derivative undergo alpha elimination alpha elimination and that gives you carbene is it carbene so this carbene if you have any beta gamma or delta ch bond so generally it inserts into the bond for example you have here a beta ch bond what happens it further insert into this ch bond and gives you a cyclo derivative cyclo propane derivative for example if you take This is the first case that means so alpha carbon of this carbene should not have any hydrogen you see here this alpha carbon of this carbene doesn't have any hydrogen here so then this in this condition so generally this carbene inserts into either beta hydrogen or beta ch bond or gamma ch bond or delta ch bond suppose if you have in three conditions suppose if you have three ch bonds alpha b so beta gamma delta so it preferably undergo insertion with the delta ch bonds so in this example we have only beta ch bond so the formed ch bond generally inserts into beta ch bond let us take another example so in this case so the treatment of this diketone or ketoester with the lead tetra estate which produces carbene which doesn't have any hydrogen at alpha carbon but this has hydrogens at beta gamma and delta as i told you if you have beta gamma carbon and delta carbon has hydrogens then this carbene generally prefers this insertion into this delta CH bond so there is a insertion takes place at the delta CH bond and produces a 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 membered cyclic ring so this is how the insertion of this carbenes into CH bonds so there is another example in this case that is insertion takes place insertion into a hetero atom and H bond for example here we can take OH bond so carbenes also insert into other single bonds especially OH and NH bonds for example if you take alcohol and a carbene so this carbene has a vacant orbital what happens this accepts electron pair from this hetero atom
it gets resonal ionic intermediate and this elide intermediate and the CH insertion produces ether. So what is the application here? The alcohol when you treat with this carbene so generally produces ether. So the same way is if you treat with the amines, amines with the diazomethane, so generally the insertion of uh, that is diazomethane under thermal condition or photochemical condition, the insertion of this CH2 into this alcohol which gives you ether and the insertion of this uh, carbenes with the amines produces N methylation. Okay, that is all about insertion reactions of carbenes. Coming to the next application, that is rearrangement reactions. Rearrangement reactions. So, what is rearrangement? Migration of an atom or group from one position to another position by breaking and making of a bond. That is called actually rearrangement reaction. So, rearrangement reactions generally we can observe where the formation of different kind of intermediates during the reaction. So, carbenes such kind of intermediates. So, carbene also electron deficient intermediate so that it can also undergo rearrangement reactions in which an atom or group present an adjacent carbon which migrates towards this electron deficient species. For example, if you have a skeleton, so here this W is a migrating group, migrating group which migrates generally, and this. This carbon is migration origin, okay, migration origin from which position the migrating group is migrating, migration origin and this carbon is migration terminus, migration terminus. So, this carbon, that means if you consider this carbene, so which has a vacant p orbital, it can accept electron pair from other molecule since this group present in this molecule so the migration of an atom or group by retaining it electron pair with it okay with it and migrates towards this electron deficient species so this is generally called as one two shift okay one two shift which creates another electron deficiency on that particular carbon that means from migration origin a group an atom or group migrates migrates towards migration terminus which is an electron deficient so this migrating group here migrates by retaining its electrons and generates electron deficient species so here the migrating this bond okay this bond and this vacant orbital both are in coplanar so they undergo one two shift that is rearrangement and gives you rearranged products for example if you have a molecule molecule which is having carbene okay as we know this carbene which is having electrons non bonding electrons but still it is an electron deficient so due to this one of the group at the adjacent position migrates towards this electron deficient species so i am writing bottom so it migrates onto this electron deficient carbon so that the rearrangement takes place okay rearrangement takes place and produce a rearranged product 
so this is all about rearrangement generally you can observe in carbenes so this mechanism involved in this reaction is a concerted mechanism so let us consider the mechanism here is simultaneous is simultaneous loss of this leaving group and migration of this migrating group towards this electron deficient species which produces this rearranged product okay so this follows a concerted mechanism so generally the migratory aptitude for this carbenes rearrangement is hydrogen hydride has higher ability to migrate than aryl and then this aryl has higher ability to migrate than alkyl so let us take another example for example a molecule which is having a halo derivative treat this with the base such as like a tertiary beta so potassium tertiary beta oxide or tertiary beta lithium which are bases which produces carbene carbene so then the rearrangement takes place here the phenyl migrates onto this electron deficient carbene so this takes place one to shift and produces an alkene okay so this is the rearrangement reaction so there is another type of reaction rearrangement reaction that is carbene to carbene carbene to carbene rearrangement reaction which is also called as scatterball 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 rearrangement so what is this rearrangement that means carbene to carbene rearrangement so what happens here the conversion of vinyl vinyl cyclo propylidines to cyclo pentene leads pentene leads okay so that is the rearrangement so called as carbene to carbene rearrangement or catabol rearrangement so what is this vinyl cyclo propylidines to cyclo pentene leads cyclo pentene leads so let us take an example here this is a cyclopropane derivative this is vinyl cyclopropylidin propylidin once you treat this with the methyl lithium methyl lithium at minus 78 degrees celsius which produces carbene this carbene undergo rearrangement
gas which produces a divalent species with six electrons that is acyl carbene acyl carbene so this acyl carbene undergo rearrangement one two rearrangement which gives you ketene this is called wolf rearrangement so ketene the formed ketene upon hydrolysis upon hydrolysis produces carboxylic acid so this wolf rearrangement is a part of ant photosynthesis so what is wolf rearrangement here the thermal decomposition of alpha diisoketones produces ketenes via carbene intermediate so that is wolf rearrangement so in this rearrangement you are producing ketene intermediate which upon further undergo hydrolysis gives you carboxylic acids as the final products so these are the applications of reactivity of carbenes so the nature of carbene generally it is electrophilic so that this can undergo different kind of reactions such as addition reactions with alkenes alenes alkynes arenes etc so these kind of reactions generally they produce addition products and also this carbenes involves in the insertion reactions into ch bonds and insertion reactions into oh bonds as well as nh bonds and also these carbenes due to their reactivity they can also undergo rearrangement reactions where the migration of an atom or group takes place towards electron deficient carbon that means that is carbene by breaking and making of a bond within a molecule so that is actually rearrangement so in this rearrangement we can observe a concerted type of mechanism as well as a carbene to carbene rearrangement or scatterball rearrangement so in this rearrangement generally the carbene is rearranging to another carbene that means it is expanding expanding the ring expansion takes place that carbene is rearranging to another carbene and whereas it further undergo rearrangement and gives you stable molecules of course this carbenes generally undergo and that means carbenes generally observe in the whole free element so in all free element the rearrangement are the de thermal decomposition of this alpha diazo ketones to ketenes takes place via the formation of acyl carbene which is an intermediate or which is an electrophilic species and which further undergo rearrangement or one to shift gives you ketene this ketene further undergo hydrolysis which produces carboxylic acid or this ketene if you treat with amines you can also get the amides so such a way that you can prepare you can prepare or that is you can, you can have wide applications with the carbenes in synthetic organic chemistry so these are the carbenes especially exist in organic chemistry that is singlet as well as triplet carbenes so this is all about the the generation of carbenes and the types of carbenes and their nature as well as stability and their reactivity of the carbenes thank you